Hey Church, welcome to this week's Bible reading. This Sunday, the 17th of May, we are continuing our drama series that we are calling Esther, Finding Hope When God Seems Hidden. We'll be in chapter 5, so as I always say, read that chapter for yourself. It's a better way to engage with our latest episode, and it's a better way to prepare for Sunday. Esther chapter 5. On the third day of the fast, Esther put on her royal robes and entered the inner court of the palace, just across from the king's hall. The king was sitting on his royal throne facing the entrance. When he saw Queen Esther standing there in the inner court, he welcomed her and held out the gold scepter to her. So Esther approached and touched the end of the scepter. Then the king asked her, What do you want, Queen Esther? What is your request? I will give it to you, even if it is half the kingdom. And Esther replied, If it please the king, let the king and Haman come today to a banquet I have prepared for the king. The king turned to his attendant and said, Tell Haman to come quickly to a banquet as Esther has requested. So the king and Haman went to Esther's banquet. And while they were drinking wine, the king said to Esther, Now tell me what you really want. What is your request? I will give it to you, even if it is half the kingdom. Esther replied, This is my request and deepest wish. If I have found favour with the king, and if it pleases the king to grant my request and do what I ask, please come with Haman tomorrow to the banquet I will prepare for you. Then I will explain what this is all about. Haman was a happy man as he left the banquet, but when he saw Mordecai sitting at the palace gate, not standing up or trembling nervously before him, Haman became furious. However, he restrained himself and went on home. Then Haman gathered together his friends and Sirith, his wife, and boasted to them about his great wealth and his many children. He bragged about the honours the king had given him and how he had been promoted over all the other nobles and officials. Then Haman added, and that's not all. Queen Esther invited only me and the king himself to a banquet she prepared for us. And she has invited me to dine with her and the king again tomorrow. Then he added, but this is all worth nothing as long as I see Mordecai the Jew just sitting there at the palace gate. So Haman's wife, Sirith, and all his friends suggested, set up a sharpened pole that stands 75 feet tall, and in the morning ask the king to impale Mordecai on it. When this is done, you can go on your merry way to the banquet with the king. This pleased Haman, and he ordered the pole set up. This is another great and interesting and intriguing chapter. I'm really looking forward to joining with you this Sunday online. Be blessed. Be safe.